What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix the Destiny 2 is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues that is happening for many users and how we can fix this app. We can try these steps, we can for these kind of errors we can try this step. So the first and foremost step we need to do a restart. So to do a restart, just go over here in the start icon, go to the power icon, do a restart. Once after the restart, check with the game. Sometimes, you know, for a simple restart, you know, it can fix a lot of issues. So that is why I'm recommending it. We can try the first restart as a step. If that is not working, we need to move to the next one. Next one is all about, we just need to go over here. Now go to the step two. That is all about, we need to uninstall and reinstall the backlight. So in order to uninstall and reinstall the backlight, we just need to go over here in the destiny, right click and go to manage and we have to go to browse local files. Now from here, you have to get into the backlight. First, we need to uninstall it. So right click and go to run as administrator and go for yes. So it will be uninstalled in the backlight. Now we need to install it back. So install, install backlight, you can see. So right click on this one, go to run as administrator and go for yes. So right now, as you can see, the backlight will be reinstalled back and you have to check with the game. If that is not working, we need to move to the next one. That is, we need to uninstall the backlight, then launch the game. And during the launch, it will be reinstalling back the backlight. So to do this, just go over here, right click, go to the manage, browse local files. And this time we need to go over here to the backlight. First, we need to uninstall it. Just go to the, this one and run as administrator and go for yes. Now we need to close this. Now launch the game, while launch the game, you can see you'll be getting some pop-up mes uh, messages. It says install battle like this, you'll be getting a message. So just go for install battle I accept. Now it says the battle will be installed in the background. So just go for yes. Now it will be installed. So you can just install it. And once after it's successfully installed, you're fine with it. So this is what you have to do as the first and foremost one. Afterwards, still if you're having the trouble, we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we need to rename or delete the config folder. I mean, you'll be losing all the settings in the game, but even though it worth a lot, for many users when they're renaming it and deleting it work. So what I'm going to do is just let me minimize this and I have to go to the file explorer, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to users. Now from here, go to admin. Now from here, you have to get into app data go for roaming now from here you will be finding the folder named bonjour so for me i don't have this because uh, i have not yet played the game so once you launch the game you will be having the this particular folder so what i'll do is let me close this okay i'll be opening the game let me open the game So guys, the game is now launched. So let me minimize this. Sorry, let me exit this. Now, I just need to go back to the file explorer, this PC, local disk C, users, admin, app data, roaming. Now, if I check, I can see there is a folder named Bungie. So this is the saved game file. So the step is either I need to rename it and take complete or I can delete it. So what I need to do is what I'm recommending is you can either rename it. The bungee can be renamed into anything like, you know, bungee underscore. Sorry, you can keep it. Whatever it is, you can keep it same as it is. So it was written 
bungee i'm going to give an underscore one so you can change it before that renaming it make sure that you take a complete backup after renaming if it's still if it's not working just delete it so you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but even though it work a lot next one that is step six we need to verify the game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go to install it file there is an option called verify integrity of game file so this is going to cross check every single files of a game if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so you can go for the verify integrity of game file now the next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator and try running the game in the compatibility mode so to do this just go over here right click go to manage browse local file now from here we need to go to the game over here you can see this is destiny 2 right click and go to show more options properties now compatibility now we need to put it this on run this program in the compatibility mode this is the first one run this on windows 7 or windows 8 then you can run this on windows 7 or windows 8 check with which one is fine next one we need to click on run this program as an administrator and also you have to put a check on disable full screen optimization as well now once these are done just go for apply and go for ok then you have to wait a little bit of time and you have to go to the game and check with it sometimes for some users this will bring more issues after doing this so if that is the case just go over here right click go to show more options go to the properties compatibility uncheck all these things you can keep run this program as an administrator but rest two can be unchecked go to the apply go for ok and you have to close this next one is all about we need to allow the game to the windows security and also make sure if you're using any third party antiviruses you have to allow the game to your antiviruses so to do this just go over here for the windows security just click on windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on the change setting go to allow another app go to the browse so the game might be installed on d in my case steam library steam apps common destiny 2 now first i need to select this this is the launcher so just open it and add it so if the destiny 2 is already added we just need to make sure one thing that you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public and also we need to add the battle eye so just click on this one go to the browse get into the battle eye and you can see there is one thing called be service under core x64 open it and just go for add once the battle eye is added you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public now you have to close this parallel you can also just add a game window security click on this one now frame here you just need to click on virus centered protection now from here if you scroll down there is an option called uh, manage settings so now you can just click on add or remove exclusion go for yes now add an exclusion go to the file now from here you have to add the battle eye so just go to the game steam library steam apps common go to the destiny 2 now from here you have to add the destiny you can just add it once you added you are fine with it similarly add the battle eye as well then you need to check still if you are having the trouble just go for performing the clean installation of the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd so the nvidia users can go to this particular page select everything like if you're on the geoforce you can select geoforce if you're on this one you can select this one you can just go over here select every single details over here now go for find and what happens is once you go for the find you can see it will be rolling out some updates now from here you can just go over here and if it is windows 11 you can download this one and if you're on the amd just go over here go to the graphics now we have to go over here in the rx 5000 series go over here and we need to submit now if you're on the windows 11 with 64 bit edition download this one and if you're on the windows 10 with 64 bit edition you have to download this one and also parallel you need to try install the microsoft visual c you can just go over here if the system is based on x64 download this one and if the system is based on x86 you have to download this one so afterwards let's move to the next one that we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here search for the graphics settings click on the graphics settings now from here you have to add the game so just add your game just add desktop app now from here go to this pc 
scroll down and navigate to steam library steam amps common now from here click on destiny 2 now from here we need to add the game just add it once you add it just click on scroll down this or expand this now you can see the gpu preferences change this to high performance now we need to close this and we have to check next one we need to give these commands in the launch option so the first one just go over here right click go to the properties the first command is dx11 and you have to check with the game if that is not working try with dx12 that is also very important now afterwards still if you are having the trouble we just need to close this and we have to launch the game next one is all about we need to unplug external devices such as hot tasks pedals raising wheel erasers etc if it is all connected just uncheck everything even though if joystick is connected you need to uncheck it as well now once everything is successfully unchecked we have to disable the steam overlay closing the overlay applications like you know discord nvidia etc and also overclocking applications should be removed as well so to do this just go over here on the steam right click on the game go to the properties if it is enabled we have to disable it similarly just go over here search for the task manager and you have to click on this one so right now we need to expand this and if you find Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, Discord, all these things are running over here. We need to completely remove it. That's very important. Once you remove this, you have to close this and you have to check with the game. Sometimes, you know, even after trying these, it, there will be an issue. If that is the case, we need to run these commands in the launch option. So the first one that is IP config flesh DNS. So let me to go over here, search for the CMD. Now run it as an administrator, go for yes. Now paste it, press enter. Next one, we need to type IP config release, copy this. Now we need to paste it as press enter. Next one, we need to go for IP config renew. Now we need to paste it and enter. Once these are done, we just need to close everything and we have to check with the game. Next one is we need to update the windows. If you are having any pending updates and all those things, just update your windows, which is very important. So just go to the windows update make sure the windows is up to date now once the windows is up to date you have to close everything and you have to check parallelly like i said i have already demonstrated you how to install the microsoft visual c plus plus and also try updating the bios that is also very important even after trying with all these steps if it's not working you can uninstall and reinstall the game so just close everything let me save this now we need to go over here right click go to manage and uninstall the game and we can reinstall it back so right now the game is on d so i have to either try e or i have to try c that's very important so these are the steps and i hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye